So we've got two functions here, f and g, are defined by these rules, f of x equals 3x plus 7 and g of x equals 1 third x minus 7. Let's just see what happens when I work out the uh, composition uh, for some values. So let's say if I did uh, f g of 2, so that means do uh, f to g of 2. So I'm going to do uh, a g of 2 first, so that's 1 third of 2 minus 7. Uh, so that's uh, 2 minus 7 is minus 5, so this is uh, minus 5 thirds. And now uh, I'm going to put minus 5 thirds into 3x plus 7, so I get uh, 3 times minus 5 thirds plus 7. Uh, the threes cancel out here, so we just get uh, minus 5 plus 7, which is 2. So actually that was the value that I started with. Um, if I do uh, g of f of minus 4, well, that's g of f of minus 4. f of minus 4 is 3 times minus 4 plus 7, so that's minus 12 uh, plus 7, so this is g of minus 5, um, and if I put in uh, minus 5 to g, that's 1 third of minus 5 minus 7, or 1 third of minus 12, uh, which is minus 4. So that's got us back to where we started. Um, and if you keep playing around with this, you can see what actually any um, input we put in actually gives us the uh, same outputs. Uh, sorry, sorry the, the output is the same as the, the input. Um, and you may have noticed that, I suppose, actually, if you think about these functions, uh, well, f of x is 3x plus 7, so it's sort of like the composition of, uh, of two functions, uh, where uh, the first function is times in by 3, and the second one is uh, adding 7, and we just put things through these two machines sequentially. So actually, if I wanted to uh, undo the effect of these two machines, well, I would just have to go in the opposite direction. Um, and so, first thing I would do is to put it back through this machine and undo the effect of uh, adding 7, so it would be minus 7 instead. And then instead of multiplying by 3 to undo that, I would divide by 3, and that's what this function here does. You see, it does x minus 7, that's subtracting 7, and then it divides by 3. That's the one third outside there. Uh, so, actually, this is. Um, sometimes what we call a shoes and socks method for thinking about the inverse because uh, of the, you know, we're just undoing the operations in the opposite order, the same as when you put your shoes and your socks on. Uh, you start by putting your socks on uh, and then uh, first and then once your socks are on you can put your uh, shoes on. It's a process we go through uh, in this order, but if we want to undo that and take them off we have to first take off our shoes and then take off our socks afterwards, otherwise we get in a bit of a mess. So um so to undo a composition of functions we you know, we do it in the in the opposite or opposite order there. Um we can also check, I suppose, that these really are inverses by looking at you know what's f of g of uh, x in general. Well that would be f of one third uh, x minus seven and so replacing uh, one third x minus seven with x in here, we get three times one third uh, x minus seven plus seven. So the three and the thirds cancel out. We get x minus seven plus seven, which is which is x. And if you did, uh, you know, uh, actually if you worked out g of f of x, you'd you'd get x as well. And that's another way of thinking about the inverse. You know, a a algebraically, it's the uh, it's the Function that we can combine with the original function to 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 get us back to the to the initial input. So here, uh, g is the inverse of f and vice versa. So I could I could actually say that g is uh, you know f inverse. Okay, so actually if this is f of x, uh, this is another way of writing this instead of saying g of x is to say that this is f inverse of x because. It's exactly the function that undoes f of x, and, and that's how we write the inverse f with a minus 1 uh, above it there. For example, on your calculator, uh, you might notice there are some functions on here, you know, uh, sine minus 1, cos minus 1, tan minus 1, um, and they are the inverse functions of sine, uh, cos, and tan.